Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. I'm Carissa. And this episode, Green Man, Holly King. Okay, um, Green Man's out of Asheville, North Carolina, where my family's from. Uh, if you're a beer lover, Asheville's the bomb. If you're a nature lover, Asheville's the bomb. Uh, Let's just face it, Asheville's the bomb. Uh, yeah. Okay, there is a little issue with the Holly King. It's a winter beer. We're coming out of winter. Been waiting to do this video, just hadn't had enough time. This is 11% alcohol. Okay, let's see what she looks like. None of us have had this. Mm. I was expecting something darker. Right? Am I kidding? Expecting something darker. Nothing in the bottom. It's a very honey color. Yes. Now, this is what they say about it. Barrel-aged holiday ale. This rich holiday ale is perfect to warm away the winter chill. Extended barrel aging delivers unrestrained oat flavor. Tasty hints of chocolate, vanilla, and tobacco round out the complex notes. The Holly King personifies the nature of the green man in all his winter glory has an extremely creepy picture. Um, yeah, then like I said, 11% alcohol. Wow. See, I wouldn't have expected it to be darker. I, I don't know why I thought it would be darker. I, I, I just know, thought it would be darker. Dark chocolate, tobacco. Yeah, I, expect I don't it to know. Be darker. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh. Okay, I do smell the oak. I do smell the chocolate. Mm-hmm. Smells amazing. That's delicious. Wow. Okay, the aftertaste. Yeah. It's a little boozy. Yeah. It's a little vanilla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the after, after, aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Very vanilla. And I guess that kind of woody, that kind of tobacco-y flavor. Yeah. Um, the initial taste is magic. I, I dig the initial taste. It doesn't taste like 11%, but there's boozy. Yeah. Um, it's not punishing. A little tingle in my mouth. I don't like the aftertaste. You don't like the aftertaste? It's I don't really mind strong. it. It's I don't just mind too it. strong for me. Okay. It's very tobacco y, woody. Well, they weren't kidding. It's complex. It is. Oh, yeah. It's got a lot going on. It's funny. I go to Asheville almost every Christmas to visit my grandparents. I've never had this. I mean, I they this, don't live that far from Green Man. I haven't seen it when I've been there either, and I've been there around holidays. I don't know, like maybe it's newer. The holidays. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it just sells out like that. Possibly. I don't know. I got it in Nashville. Uh -huh. Not Asheville. I got it in Nashville. <laughs> the smell of it's really kind of interesting. Though. Oh, the smell is cool. Is like the smell is cool. It. Mm, you pick up the vanilla and the smell. It's <sighs> the, the smell is wonderful. I like the smell better than the taste. I don't. I don't. I like the original taste. I just don't like the aftertaste. Honestly, I think this would be fantastic to have something with, like, as a dinner beer. Mm -hmm. um, especially like Thanksgiving food. You know, yeah. like that heavy um, mashed potato dressing. Dressing. Yeah. You know, greens. It, it would be really good with dressing. Yeah, it would be really good with dressing. Yeah. You know, greens. Greens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'd be interested to know what other people thought about this one. Yeah, it's. If you guys have had this, like, tell me what you thought in the absolutely. comments. Absolutely. Um, um, 
This I'm one torn. is very interesting. I'm torn. I don't mind the aftertaste personally. I feel um, like a stronger aftertaste I, than I, I do. do. Yeah. I don't think it drinks like 11%. I love the front end. It's definitely a high alcohol flavor. Yeah, I love the front end of it. I just don't like the back end of it. That aftertaste just um, is a little too strong for me. I'd be interested to know what it tastes like not bourbon or not, not barrel aged. Yeah. That could be interesting as well. Maybe not as strong. Possibly. Yeah. I'm not sure. It may be the woods. I'm not, uh, there's just something on the back end that's just a little too much for me. That's why we have more than one person on these shows. Yeah. Um, there's a little tannin flavor. Huh. There's not a whole lot of hop flavor. No, it's really not, no. It doesn't hit me as a hop flavor. Mm -mm. It's it's a very very dominant flavor on the back, but I'm not sure what I. It's just too strong for me. I think. If it would have been like bourbon barrel aged as opposed to just barrel aged, maybe I have to may have some bourbon barrel stuff. <laughs> maybe it it would have been a little more caramelly and a little less tanniny. Maybe um, because I've had quite a few things that were barrel aged that kind of had that little bit of wood tobacco flavor, and then the mm -hmm. bourbon barrel aged they just have more vanillas and caramels and oak. I like that. So, yeah, I do like um, that. overall, I'm 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 pleased with it. All right, well, before we get to the end, did you like this? Then like it. Have you subscribed yet? Subscribe. Comment, let me know what you think. Have you had something similar to this that I should try? Let me know. Mm -hmm. So uh, here's the thing, did you dig it? I did. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> well, I mean, that's acceptable. Would you have another? Okay, let me tell you what she's thinking. She may not be able to say it, but this is what she's thinking. If someone gave me another, I would drink it. Yeah, I but wouldn't, I wouldn't go out. And go buy out it. I wouldn't really buy it. it. Um, I'd be interested to have another. Um, I would. It's like, how many would you put in a pick six? I'd throw another one in a pick six, or I'd buy another single while I was out. Uh, I've got a bunch of friends that would find this very interesting. If somebody offered me a drink, would I take it? No. Um, what what do you think? It's a five for me. A five. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like the front. I just don't like the back. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving it half. I say five is average. Mm -hmm. You say it's average. Yeah. Okay. It'd be more than a five if I like the back end. I don't like the back end of it. For me, it's a seven. Okay. Um, it's not just like blowing anybody away uh but i think it's it's definitely worth having and it's worth having another and uh you know if i find another i'll, I'll drink another well that was pretty cool i do like the alcohol like I'm <laughs> um and if i'm at green man around christmas again right i, would, I may have a draft yeah, yeah. i would probably uh, try that which is kind of hard for me because when i'm in Asheville with family if i can tear myself away <laughs> or sneak away um you know there's so many breweries that i can so go to it's dear different breweries so little time yeah well, i mean i got to spend a lot of time with my family i only get to see them like three times a year so. well there you go folks until your next 11 percent alcohol beer adventure cheers